to start with uh, let us explore uh, what is how to create a new column as part of your existing data set uh, there is a, a feature called uh, custom column using which we can uh, add an extra column to your table if you need it okay then you can uh, right so, so in order to do that you need to click on the custom column icon uh, which is available in your uh, in the power bi desktop i closed it one second power bi desktop Yes, I just closed that uh, welcome screen, uh, which is not required. And the next one is, um, let me just. Hmm, basics, three hours ago, I opened it, okay, correct. All the data sets uh, were already loaded into this one i will just um, uh, save as something else called you know i say day four Phobos, and i just delete uh, these things and all because this is for demo purpose i created it i just delete this one and i don't think so it will allow me to delete it because i already used it there Okay, 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 sorry. I made a mistake again. I just shared the screen again. So, all right, I'm done with this. Uh, you know, uh, now uh, we are all set with uh, working with this data set. And uh, I just uh, go to the transform data and click on the transform data icon and here we can see that um, all the queries on the left side uh, the dim location dim customer product data all these things we can see it here and here um, we want to add a custom column okay i just want to add a column to the existing data set hence i click the add column ribbon here you can find a lot of options here. So column from examples, custom column, invoke custom function, conditional column, duplicate column. Okay, and then you can extract, um, you know, some values based on some conditions. Okay, text before delimiter, something like that. All these options are available. And pass, XML, JSON, all the things. And then Azure machine learning, computer vision, text analytics also available here. Anyhow, text analytics and all, we will see it later. And now we will uh, take a look at how we can create a custom column. Look here, I just clicked on custom column. See here what happened. I just selected this one because since this query is the first one, when I click on uh, the custom column, uh, it opened a dialog box. Here, I should be able to create a new column. But in addition to this table's columns, existing columns, I can create a new column, okay? I can add an extra column in simple term if I have to say that way, okay? But I don't want to do, uh, you know, do anything here. Rather, I just want to go to my fact table. In the fact table, I have uh, 
<clears throat> a lot of columns are there okay and uh, here what i want to do is my manager wants to see uh, something like um, uh, the profit he wants to see the profit and all okay and uh, here i just one second please i remove all these things and we'll re redo this again okay better let me save this one here and so we put dropping it i can save it somewhere Okay, here I just want to create some additional columns. So, what columns that I want to create it here? So, it is up to the requirement, uh, business requirement or something like that. So, here I have, uh, you know, these columns are there. Uh, in total, I have eleven columns are there. And what I am going to do is, see, my management wants to see the net um, profit and net profit margin. How will you find out the net profit? So profit is something like um, net profit is uh, you need to uh, subtract uh, the cost price from your selling price. Okay. And uh, also you need to subtract the tax, whatever you paid, everything, right? It's just a simple example. So what I am going to do is I am going to click on the custom column. Now I say net profit, something like that, net profit. Here, uh, I just uh, say, oh, if to compute that, I need to have the cost of goods, right? Cost of goods sold. Here, what I do is the sales amount minus the cost price. And here, the quantity, quantity into cost price. The quantity into cost price, uh, the quantity into the list price will give me the sales amount for each line item in my transactional data. Similarly, for each line item, I pick up the quantity and multiply with the cost price. Okay, and this is the one will give me the cost of goods sold. Okay, and um, okay, here instead of complicating this, I just remove this one quantity into cost price. Simply we will have this one and click on OK. <clears throat> I call the cost of goods sold. And if you look at the uh, sales amount for this uh, order, it is 100. Whereas the cost of goods is say, 80 only. Okay, the cost price is just 80. Uh, here the customer ordered two items. For the two items, uh, we build them $100. But actually for these two items, it costs just $80. Similarly, uh, for this height, four items ordered, uh, and here uh, the sales amount was 200 for four items, okay? And whereas the for the four items, uh, the actual cost uh, was um, 160 only. So now we arrived at the cost of goods sold. This is one of the examples for creating an extra column with your existing table. Okay, because the management wants to see uh, in the report uh, the cost of goods sold and also they wanted to see the net profit. Okay, net pro profit and or the net margin 
uh, or net profit and the net mar net margin also they want to see it we will start with um, the net profit okay net profit revenue minus cost right revenue minus cost that is what your net profit simple one so i am going to add another column but in uh, once you get into a project uh, you need to ask them the formulas or the business logic very clearly and then only you need to put the you don't go by assumptions sales amount by cost cost of goods this is my net profit so okay i have created another <coughs> another um, column here custom column and uh, next what i am going to i am going to create another custom column see likewise you can create uh, n number of custom columns okay but uh, make sure that you are not creating so many columns more columns can also consume too much of memory because remember that uh, we are uh, you know working in the big data era the volume of the data is not even in millions it is all you know above uh, you know it's all in billions okay and especially when you work with uh, the retail giants or uh, the uh, you know the even for the healthcare the volume of the data is very high and okay next one is net profit margin so here already we have a column called uh, okay let's let's say here the sales okay i call this one as uh, the net revenue okay um net profit margin revenue okay so i just say net profit minus the cost of goods sold divided by the net profit or the sales sorry sales amount here it is not that sales amount minus cost of goods divided by sales amount this is the one will give me the sales amount uh, minus cost of goods sold uh, divided by the sales amount right this is the revenue revenue minus cost divided by revenue that is the one uh, will give this one uh, 100 okay let it be there okay and uh, this formula we can you know we need to find out the percentage right uh, here one second let me just click on this in custom to sales amount into 100 okay this is for this and uh, this is not this is for our overall thing okay into 100 you can modify it here also okay instead of modifying it in the dialog window you can do it here also but uh, you should be knowing uh, the syntax and all if you don't uh, know the formula and all right it will cause some confusion so we are getting uh, still some value here but it is not showing in terms of percentage any of 
i will tell you the formula a little later because we don't have the uh, right column just for demonstration purpose i have used this okay okay so now you understood how to create an extra column okay and uh, just because you have an option to create an extra column uh, don't make the mistake of creating so many unnecessary columns unless it is really required don't create any new columns okay in this case um, cost of goods i created it and uh, the next one is this one uh, okay so the now the question is do i really need uh, the two columns where is the net profit uh, this is the net profit right yes net profit so in the net profit uh, if you see sales amount minus cox i used it so here uh, if you see here right uh, sales amount minus cox and cox what formula i used it quantity into cost price so the same thing the, you know you can implement the in this same thing here itself right uh, the sales amount minus uh, quantity into cost price that's all right you don't have to have so many columns uh, i intentionally created uh, the redundant column i mean so may, many columns it's not redundant uh, yeah extra columns uh, i created it just because you have an option to create extra column make sure that you are uh, creating optimal number of columns okay try to make it part of a single column if somebody is asking you like um, just give me the cost of goods sold separately then this is required okay then this is required see in the dashboard there is a metric called cox cost of goods sold so in that case yes obviously it is required and we cannot say it is uh, you know un redundant in this case and if i click on this if i subtract the cost of goods from the revenue that gives me the uh, profit okay net profit and the net profit margin is something like um, sales amount revenue minus your cost of goods sold uh, in in our case that is what our uh, net profit right uh, divided by sales amount total sales amount into 100 that is what uh, will give you the percentage in terms of percent net profit margin percentage okay and uh, the next thing is yes now you understood how to create a the other uh, thing is already we have seen uh, for example in the order date if i want to extract only the year how can i extract only the year i already discussed it right for example here okay in this case uh, it is all showing in different thing okay it's already in this one right okay uh, here what i do is you just select the card table here sorry column name here and go to the date and um, if you want to extract the year only you can click on year look here a year column got created <clears throat> your order date is there from this i extracted only the year 2020 21 or 2022 if i have only that one will get extracted now the question is why should i have a separate column to hold only the year if you want to compare uh 2021 uh, and 2022 sales or for example if i have 2020 years year 2020 and year 2019 uh, sales alone if you want to compare it you need to have a separate column called year based on which you can do the filtering <clears throat> so this is another way of creating the column but in this case uh, we did not use the custom column option simply i just went here and uh, selected uh, the year from here see first i selected order date column here order date column got selected and then click on the date and you can click on year for example if you want to create a I extract only month from this from the order date it extracted only the month here but it created uh, the column names also with the meaningful name okay year and month separately but here i did not use the custom co custom column option okay it automatically created uh, the these two columns uh, and it by applying the built in function okay so but this is uh, you know implicitly creating the uh, new extra column but whereas in the net profit net margin explicitly we created the custom column by just by clicking on this one 
But when you click on this one, uh, you, when, uh, you have an option to specify the form loss here, okay? You can specify the form loss. But in the year and month, you don't have to do any form loss. But if you want to specify the form loss, form loss, uh, we call it as business logic or business rule. Okay, and that and all, uh, if you can implement it uh, with the custom column. So the date, extracting month, date, year, it doesn't require too much of, um, it doesn't require any business logic. A simple built-in, uh, you know, feature that is by clicking this date and, you know, you can extract it. But uh, the net profit, net margin and some other columns, it requires a complex business logic. With custom column, you can implement all the complex logic. So that is uh, pretty much about the custom column. And the next one is, um, okay, other example is uh, here I have, um, what is this order date and what else? Okay, I don't have ship date here. Okay, I don't have ship date here. Supposing you want to find out the duration, uh, uh, the ship duration, how many days we took to ship the items. So in that case, you can create a, a new custom column and then you subtract the ship date, so subtract the order date from your ship date so that you will get duration. So in that kind of situations or scenarios, we will be using uh, this one, the custom column. <clears throat> and next, we will take a look at uh, the Conditional column. We have something else called uh, conditional column. Look here. Here we have something else called conditional column. I just click on this conditional column. Using conditional column, you can create bucketing. It will open a window, something like this. Here, you can specify the column. For example, I have, I'm going to say uh, sales type, something like that, okay? And here, the column name is, if the sales amount is, uh, is less than or equal to 100, then I call it as low sales, okay? And then I have an, uh, in, uh, the button called add class is available here. If I wanted to add additional conditions, click on this one. And else if, if the sales amount is less than or equal to 100, then it is low. Else, if the sales amount is um, greater than or equal to You know, is greater than is greater than 100 you know so anything greater than 100 i say medium sales this logic and all you need to check with them so you know what range you need to specify it to create the bucketing and the sales amount is yeah uh, greater than or equal to right so greater than so I would say uh, 100, low and medium. And uh, what is the logic I used here? Uh, sales amount is less than 100, then low. Else if sales amount is less than or equal to 600, okay. You can say less than or equal to. Okay, it's a medium. And uh, next one is greater than 600. Then it is high. That's all. So three buckets. See, already we have a column called sales amount is available, but we want to do some kind of profiling. So in that case, if you create an additional column, which will, uh, you know, which will uh, show, uh, which will display the low, medium, high category, then you can do additional analysis. If you wanted to see later point in time, you know, what is the uh, higher sales that we made it? Can you take me the, uh, you know, the sales which we made it uh, in the bucket of high? You can take a look at it. 
So look here, the sales type, we created low, medium, high. All these three categories got created. And if you see the low here, and you need to compare this one with your uh, sales amount 100, right? Less than or equal to 100, then it is low. And medium is uh, anything less than 600 or called your medium. Look here, the 200 is less than 600. Anything greater than 600 is high. The fourth record, if you see here, <clears throat> one four four zero it is more than 600 and it is high and if you want to filter only the high sales amount click on the drop down and then unselect everything and click on high sales okay you can see this one high sales so with this highest sales uh, which all transactions we made more sales if you want to do some kind of analysis you just filter this and you know you can do it rather than uh, you know taking all the data and then uh, using the visual to do everything right it is uh, time taking thing instead if you create a categorical type of a column like this you can do a specific analysis on a specific segment in this case uh, the sales highest high sales right or medium sales high sales medium sales we won't do that. And also the same thing we do it in the customer uh, thing also, data set also. <coughs> in real time scenario, in the customer data set, uh, we, we use a customer data set to do the um, profiling, customer profiling. So what is customer profiling? Uh, for example, uh, age group. We want to segment the age of the customers. I have a column called data birth here. The first task is I need to compute the, the, the age for each customer. In this case, hardly we have six, but in real life scenario, you have 15 million, 20 million, 30 million customers so will be there. Okay, you need to compute the age for each customer. And then you need to segment those customers, bucketing. You need to do the bucketing, like how I did it. If the age is you know, uh, you know less than 30, they are young, middle, high, uh, you know, yeah, the, sorry, uh, the young age, middle age, and old age, something like that, okay? So that uh, age-wise, you can do some kind of uh, analysis. Which age group of customers prefers which items, which products they more frequently they buy. They buy. And uh, uh, right so with that, you can target uh, the any special offers uh, related to the segment specific preferences you can target that specific uh, segment supposing uh, people below 30 years they prefer uh, more luxury items or, or uh, fancy items they want to up they buy more uh, apparels shoes uh, t-shirt jeans right and the females they buy a lot of uh, the makeup kits all the things so in that kind of situations uh, you can target only those group of people with any special offer or something like that because they are more likely to buy when they see offers everything okay uh, that is the uh, for that purpose uh, we do the profiling segmenting all the things so in that kind of situation you can use conditional column okay and also if you have a, a column if you have any column in the the fact sales uh, the transaction is like price column here. So what you can do is you can do profiling for the pricing also, which all items are high price and which all, uh, you know, items, uh, you know, are uh, low price, something like that. So that what you can do is you can do some kind of analysis uh, in such a way. You can understand uh, the profit margin. Right. So whether the profit margin is uh, driven by the high price or medium price or low price. Okay. So that also you can do analysis. See, it doesn't mean uh, you, 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 you know, you are invoice in your in invoice, you generated, you know, you, you create, you generate an invoice uh, uh, worth, uh, you know, 30,000. Well, that doesn't mean, right, your uh, margin is also very high. Some cases, um, even though the product cost is very high, the margin is not so high. But some cases, even though the cost is not so high for some products, 
the margin is very high okay so those kind of analysis you can do it by creating the conditional column so in in this case price level we, we create some kind of bucketing on the price column something like that hope you understood how to create custom column how to create conditional column and uh, next one is uh, column from examples column from examples is one of the super cool uh, super awesome feature it saves a lot of our time you don't have to write or you don't have to break your head to implement the complex logic to split the data or something like that okay so this is very simple one if you use the column from example for example i just go to the customer data set here uh, for example i have a date of birth column here sorry uh, okay i have a date of birth column here so here if you look at it here so you can see this is a date month year format and if you see here uh, yeah this is a date month year format but uh, i want this one to be so i want this one to be formatted in the form of year month date so you have some options here and uh, but re, you know it is not much helpful you can replace values uh, you know you replace values are there values to find replace with something else but uh, you know it is not that much helpful okay i want to convert this into date month Uh, sorry year month date format year month date like 2012 12 i want to convert it in that format so for this uh, you need to do some kind of uh, you need to write your m language some extent to do this one but uh, instead i'm going to use column from examples now i selected the data for the first step is you need to select the column which you want to do do some kind of uh, reshaping or reformatting and then the second step is click on the column from examples don't select this one because uh, from selection not all the columns we want to do it we want to do some kind of formatting only for this column hence from selection from selected data bar you do this one okay fine so next if you scroll towards the right side nothing or something else is there ignore it and this column got selected and here in the column one this one got created the moment when i clicked on column from examples here i could see empty values here and uh, here what i do is i just specify the year first and the month the same data i'm going to type it in the different way i start with year month date but uh, you know each of them separated by the iphan okay next one is the year 1998 iphan 12 iphan 10 and press enter that's it i just typed only two uh, values automatically rest of the values got formatted correctly right uh, in this format right the rest of the values in this column got formatted Uh, in the year month date format okay automatically it creates so look here there is no mistakes right 1991 and the seventh month in uh, 03 okay here it is not there but when you use uh, the add column from examples you need to be little bit cautious look here for 05 03 it came out now that's why you need to check it out correctly here okay just because it is doing it uh you know you you're not supposed to be uh you know uh, lenient okay so you need to check it out correctly here look here everything got converted correctly but the same thing if you have to do it you need to write you know this many number this this this, this are the you know script that you need to do it. look here the m language got created automatically and if you click on this one here you know, for entire thing right you can see this one so this is the m language got created behind the scene if you so if you don't have this option what would have happened you need to end up 
writing a script like this but it will take a lot of time to think other logic and all the things right you don't have to break your head by coming up with a logic to reformat it uh, right it's a bit comp- you know complex thing and you know it saves a lot of your time the column from examples this is basically like uh, the machine learning algorithms uh, it is which is part of the artificial intelligence see nowadays uh, all the uh, everywhere the artificial intelligence is uh, playing crucial role even the uh, reporting tools like uh, the power query editor tableau everywhere everyone started using artificial intelligence related features see microsoft they introduced uh, a lot of um, artificial inter- intelligence related features in the power query editor i think this is also somewhat similar to the machine learning algorithm in the case of machine learning what we do is we just give sample data to train the algorithm see we just typed uh, two values now power bi uh, was able to understand okay so this column got selected for this column they have given the sample format like this hence i need to convert the rest of the values with this format fat fat it finished but still uh, there are some kind of uh, inaccuracy you can expect it after conversion and so you need to be doubly cautious you need to go and take a look at so okay here zero is there three is not there missing something and here also zero is there five is not there you just type it that's all but instead of writing the complex thing this is best thing and if you have millions and millions of records it is a little bit challenge whether everything got uh, converted correctly or not you need to uh, you know check it but again you can do random check but this saves a lot of time now the question is why should i convert the data bar column into this format it is already there why should i change the format for example in my website i have an app if you give any data birth it converts it computes the age okay and in that case what you need to do is you need to call my api if you have to call my api you need to pass some values let's say if you fa- pass this value my api will not work it will not compute the age so right so my api accepts the date uh, values in this format date month year format otherwise it will not compute it will throw an error hence you need to first convert in the required format and then if you call that uh, api it will uh, by passing this values to that api that api will return the age for each and every customer for that you can you need to create another column and you can, you can use custom invoke thing and you can do it those kind of applications reformatting is required that is what i'm trying to say so in that case the custom column from examples is you know it's a excellent option and other scenario is something like um let's say you want to split some columns okay you want to split some columns okay this job is done i just click on okay fine so okay now we have convert in the required format good and next one is uh, other application is something like i want to split the values from a column for example i have a column called first name and last name here the customer name is available in two columns the customer first name is available here the last name is available here luckily but in in real time scenario you will not get it like this okay and these two column values will be uh, you know available in a single column itself the first name last name will be available in the single column. some cases the first name middle name last name all the three values put together in a single column you will find it so in that case uh, the customers uh, the your us customers or uk customers they will expect you to split uh, the first name separately middle name separately last name separately in that kind of situation also you can use column from examples so in this case uh, i just uh, remove this one to to show you uh, to for illustration purpose what i do is i select these two columns how do you select uh, more than one column so this is also a very important thing you need to hold your control key and click on another column if you want to you need to keep hold the uh, in the control key and then only you can do multi column select 
okay any of i i don't need this one i just want this column this column that's all now what i do is i just right click on it and i have an option called merge columns so separator is space use some uh, space between first name to last name space should be there see the the after merging it the the merged column should have john joseph chris right okay. it should not have two different columns okay <clears throat> i just click on okay so look here in the merged if you see the okay i just uh, redo this one uh, it was it overtook uh, okay okay what i will do is i just um, take here you know duplicate column and then i will do you know duplicate of the last name okay and then what i do is i just so not this one and uh, this one and this one i just do merge see these things you have to practice it space super john joseph if i just bring it here you can drag the columns also okay so look here just if you keep dragging it and just put it i just drop it here just before first name sorry here now if you see john joseph look here these two values were stored separately here this is how you can merge it if anybody asks you to merge the two columns values into single column this is how you can do it it's a very simple one somebody wants you to break uh, you know split this columns split this single column into two uh, or more than two columns then you have split columns option is available <clears throat> so here in this case right click on it and then where is the split uh, split column look here split column by delimiter here uh, if i use something like space select or enter delimiter delimiter is nothing but you know uh, tell me uh, you know the delimiter so in this case space the first name and last name in between we have space right chris and right between this we have space so if you specify the delimiter as space what it does is anything before the space it will put it in one column anything after space it will put in another column i just click on okay now look at look look here merge one and merge two john and joseph got separated splitted and you know the merge one and merge two you can with this you can make out and this one is matching with this one right there are no errors it perfectly splitted the merged values right if you want to split a column into more than one column or two columns or three columns it is possible and if you want to merge it uh, if you want to merge more than two columns uh, right that is also possible more than one column right obviously merge means uh, you need to have at least two columns to merge it and if you want to merge more than one columns then you can go for merge split is also available okay what is so big deal then why um, we need a column from examples in this case even in this case let's say you have first name middle name last name and there are some uh, somewhere the uh, you know the formatting is not uh, consistent in that kind of situation you can go for column from examples okay just by typing example data what it does is it will understand the pattern and then based on the pattern it splits the values uh, automatically but still you need to keep an extra eye to make sure that uh, it is uh, doing it correctly it has done the correct job for the entire data okay okay the next one is uh, hope you understood uh, all these things you need to practice it uh, uh, you know probably tonight itself you can practice it and i hope all of you are uh, good right but here a lot of uh, fever and all the things are there 
even my other batch students also they were saying about fever okay good uh, this is the thing and uh, right so now you understood what is custom column what is a conditional column what is column from examples and i have explained these uh, three functionality or options with uh, different scenarios next uh, we will take a look at uh, something else called the custom function uh, okay how do we create a custom uh, function in power bi okay just give me a second i uh, let me grab some water my mouth is getting dry